So about a month ago, I goofed up and accidentally monetized a video before it reached my subscribers, before I published it. I made about $6.50 from that first spike of views, and it was an average video for my channel, average amount of views, a couple thousand. And I felt kind of bad whenever I was, I was like, oh shit, that was monetized, and I was going to go demonetize it after it was up for like 10 minutes, and then I was like, no. This, I, I'll let it go, and I can get some information. Because it's not that I, I, I feel kind of, I still feel bad about that, but I feel like it was good information because people have gotten kind of angry at me for not monetizing my videos until they've been up for two weeks. Because I, I honestly would feel bad for wasting you guys' time. I feel fine with wasting people's time that aren't subscribed. I feel that's, that's kind of like, that's kind of a punishment for not, for being late, you know. Because if you're subscribed, you get to watch the videos without ads. It's actually a, a reason to subscribe then, because then you're up on everything. You know, like, ah, I get to watch in before ads and not waste all your time. Plus, I think that ads are just, well, they're a dying revenue stream. That's just how it is. Since I, I haven't been able to top what I was making in 2013, my views are going up tons of subscribers compared to then. Like, I used to have, I used to have like one tenth of what I have now. But the market is perpetually being diluted by more and more space, more and more videos to put ads on. So the value of an ad is going down. That's also why I wanted to get into Patreon, because you could watch an ad on, on my video and make me like a third of a penny or something like that or one in 300 people can donate a dollar to my youtube uh, to my well to my patreon account and then 300 people don't have to watch an advertisement some of them not skippable which is annoying and i feel like it's such a waste of time to have 300 people watch an ad whenever one person could just donate a dollar. You know what I mean? Because basically when you watch an ad, you're selling your time for like a couple cents an hour or something like that. It's just, I feel kind of bad about that for subscribers because I feel like if you're subscribed, then you should be treated a little bit better than if you aren't subscribed. A little bit. A little bit. Well, people have issues with that because they're like, oh, you, you're going to make Patreon videos? And I'm not going to be able to see it. Well, I want to see all your videos. So just monetize it from the get-go, and then we can see all the videos, and you can make a bunch of money. If that was true, I would totally understand that. But because you don't make that much money from it, it kind of sounds like... I mean, it kind of shifts the tone of that type of comment to a more, like, kind of condescending... Well, I don't know, kind of saying Self-entitled. Because... I appreciate the meaning that you think that I, that I would make more money if I didn't have a Patreon account and that if I had advertisements on newer videos, but it's just, it doesn't work that way. So let's say I, yeah, let's say now I've been trying to upload every single day. Let's just say I did a whole month, I uploaded every single day, and monetized every single video, and every video got about six to seven dollars. Well, that'd be like what, a couple hundred bucks, maybe two hundred, something like that. Two hundred one dollars and fifty cents. I was actually pretty close. Damn. Well, anyway, so I could easily make that much on Patreon. I make close enough on Patreon, so it's like I I don't feel like it's worth. It. If I wasn't making much more than I am now on, Patre on Patreon, but I had the option to make $50 per video, then I would seriously think about, well, fuck you guys' time, because now your time is worth a lot more, and it can help me a lot more if I just monetize every single video from the get-go. But for $6, I don't know. Also, oddly enough, I, just, I feel kind of bad about that, because I kind of feel like then it's also devaluing my time. Because I value the videos that make me 10 cents a month far more than a video that would make me $10 in a day, one day. If it made $10 every day, that's a golden video. But, because the thing is, like, 
the video that I accidentally monetized when I uploaded it. I spent like about, I'd say 10, 10, 12 hours on that video because I had to like, I had to go out and get another bench grinder and whatnot. Now you know which video I'm talking about. And oh, was that one? I can't remember. Now I don't know which video I'm talking about. I have too many videos. Anyway, so I remember how to do a bunch of stuff in that video. And usually a video of mine takes about four to six hours of work for every ten minutes. And here recently it's been going up to maybe like eight hours for every ten minutes sometimes. So that's a bit annoying. But hey, I'm fine with that. It's very rewarding work. Creatively rewarding. Not exactly monetarily rewarding because the thing is like for every hour I put in, it's like I have a job where I get paid a dollar and a half an hour. A dollar and a half to about five dollars an hour. But it's an odd job where even if I just take a day off or a month off, I'll still be getting that much money. So it's not exactly a clock in, clock out kind of job. I'm always clocked in, but I am not having to deal with, well, I can't think of a good way to phrase it. It's cumulative. So for every video I make, it helps add to how much money I'll be making. Yeah. I don't know, but then I'd feel kind of bad if I... Because if, if I started monetizing videos, for me, I feel like I would start focusing on that $5 I made and then not on the money afterwards. And I'd be like, oh, I just spent all that time to make $5 or, sorry, six and a half dollars And so I was getting like, what, 50 cents an hour? Whereas, at least with, like, at least with the indefinite possibility of getting money every single month, like, 25 cents a month. Because that video was is actually making me about, I think, let's see, like, a couple days of spikes up to 10, 10 cents a day, which is pretty good, actually, because, again, it adds up when you have 600 and whatever fucking videos I have, and a good number of those can make, like, a couple cents a day that adds up and I'd say this this is about it's about 75 cents or so I think per month and that that is really great I value that so much and it seems like a lot more even if it stops sometime short of making me six dollars and fifty cents total it feels bigger because it's indefinite who knows if you go on for years I've had videos that have been making me money almost consistently since like 2012. Yeah, not really 2012, 2013. I even have the problem now of my old videos from 2013 are overshadowing anything that I still make. And I actually find that kind of difficult because I look back at those videos from like before my gender transition and whatnot and it's like, oh fuck, it's so fucking cringy. And I know that people have watched that video then they go see my newer videos and first impressions kind of burn into your mind. It's like, oh, fuck. But those videos, they're making me like 30 bucks a month. Very consistently. And they're getting me a couple hundred subscribers a month. I can't exactly bring myself to, like, kill them. I kill those channels. Yeah, kill those subscribers. No, kill kill the, uh, the videos. Although probably what I'm going to do is someday, if I just get so sick and tired of people commenting the same comments on my old videos from like four years ago. I'll probably see about changing out the, th the thumbnail and maybe removing the tags and making it to where it just, it just doesn't get popped up. You can still find it if you look for it. It just, just doesn't get popped up and so less people see it. I've done that some, on some of my other channels and it works out okay. Yeah, so it's kind of just a ramble. I'm trying to make sure I say everything. I'm really happy with Patreon because even even advertisement, it can be kind of dependable, but then it's always, it goes up and down and there's always spikes and whatnot. At least with Patreon, there seems to be a very consistent amount of income. And like, for instance, I would much rather somebody donate a dollar for 10 months instead of $10 for one month, even though it probably cost me more like, even though Patreon would probably take more money out of the $1, who knows. But it's just something about that. The the dependability really appeals to me. You know, that's, that's kind of... 
I think that's kind of just something about me. I like to have physical things and not waste money on quick-lasting things. Like, for instance, I don't really spend that much money on food. Because I would rather eat something that was kind of crappy, like a Totino's pizza. It's good enough. It'll, it'll keep me alive. And then spend that money on something that'll last me for decades, or at least a couple of weeks. Like this $5 bicycle that I'm making kind of steampunky, or something like that. And, I don't know, I, I like dependable things, because, like, I have, like, I have a fantasy of being like, oh, something in the future, maybe five years from now, I'll actually make, be making a nice amount of money for my, my videos and whatnot, and then I can do amazing things, even though right now I feel like I'm kind of, I'm able to do some pretty cool things, but if I wasted all that effort on if, if, if I wasted all my money on single use things like really fancy meals or whatever and if I wasted all my, my, my time trying to strive for t today's revenue instead of striving for a video that, that will make me revenue for years to come I feel like that's really bad it's really late at night so I'm having, I'm having a hard time Keeping my thoughts straight. I'm having a hard time sleeping here lately. I can't tell if my... I feel like I've been having a hard time sleeping and get, getting a little stressed from the daily videos. They're fun. They're fun. But I'm having a hard time sleeping and... I don't know, maybe... I'll go back and look at my older videos and see if maybe I still have like... Because I, I feel like my eyes are just kind of like really dark under... Like right here. Under, under my eyes, I mean. I don't know. Well, I guess this will be a video for a day. So, hey! Daily videos. There we go. One more day. Yeah. I think I might be able to get two or three videos out tonight. And then I can just have, like, the weekend of doing more maintenance -y stuff. Because... Like for instance, all these all these boxes down in the basement. I I think this this weekend I'm gonna finally go through them and I'm gonna organize them a lot better and go through some stuff because some of them just they aren't categorized properly. Like like right now I see there's a Commodore 64 in one box. There's some Commodore 64 cassettes in another one, and there's a Commodore a Commodore 64 disk drive or cassette tape reader back in another one it's like those should be together those should be together you know what no I should put the Commodore 64 in my Commodore 64 box that it came in yeah so I'm just so I'll probably churn out a bunch of quick videos daily videos and then spend this weekend cleaning up a little bit more sounds pretty good well that's pretty much it my little ramble about that I hope that was a little informative about curiosity so yeah 650 per video. That's usually what I probably expect. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.